In this lesson, we are going to be looking at some interesting type of trinomials, ones that have higher powers than what we are normally used to. So up till now, we've only really looked at trinomials that look like this, or sometimes there's a number in the front, and I've showed you how to handle those. Um, but it's usually been a 2 over there, and then a 1 over there, okay? Um, but now we're going to start looking at some really awesome ones, like what about x to the 6 take away 3x to the 3 take away 4. Remember, in one of our first lessons on trinomials, we said a trinomial is something that has um, only two of the terms have variables, and this one must always be double that one. That is all that is necessary for something to be a trinomial. It doesn't only have to be x squared and x. That is just the most common type that we see. So in this lesson, we'll explore these types of ones. So here's our first example. Now remember, always see if you can take out a common factor first. Um, in this one, we can't take out a common factor. Okay, so because of that, we have to use that technique that I showed you where the number in the front cannot be removed. Okay, Whoop, why am I battling to draw this line? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I literally do not know what is going on. There we go. Okay, so the number 4, we start there. So 1 times 4, 4 times 1, 2 times 2. Okay, then the number 25, that is literally only going to be, oh, and 25 times 1, and 1 times 25. Okay, so we are going to try and make the number 20. Well, negative 20 to be specific. So let's see, how could we make the number 20? Oh, here we go. 2 times 5 because that 2 times 5 would give us a 10. 2 times 5 would give us 10. Um, and then you obviously choose the opposite one. This is stuff that I've showed in previous lessons. You choose those two, so that's 5 times 2, which is also 10. So 10 and 10, we could definitely make negative 20. How? Well, if they're both negative. Negative 10 take away negative, or ne minus 10 minus 10 is minus 20. Okay, so what we go do is we go open up our brackets, and we put the top numbers in the first bracket like we've always done, 2 and 5. We put the bottom numbers in the second bracket like we've always done, 2 and 5. And then we do the bottom numbers in the second bracket, so that would be 2 and 5. Now here's where the only difference you need to look out for. Um, these two, when you multiply them together, you want them to give you 4a4. So this will just be an a squared now, and this will just be an a squared. That is the only difference, okay? And then, um, okay, so now if we now we have to try and make this negative 20. So if you had to multiply those two together, that would give you 10a squared. But we want it to be negative 10. So what we do is we just put a little negative over there. If you had to multiply these two together, that would also give you negative 10. And so you just put a negative. And there we have it. Now, technically, your teacher might do this a little different. Um, you see that these two brackets are exactly the same. So your teacher might want to just finish this off and say 2a squared minus 5 to the power of 2. Some teachers would do it, but mathematically, this is the same as this. And so both are correct. You must just see how your teacher wants you guys to finish that off. Here's another example. So step one, I always want you to try to take out a common factor. Uh, in, this ex in this case, there is no common factor. So you might be wondering, well, Kevin, is this even a trinomial? Yes, it is, because have a look here. There's a four, and then this one's a two. So it is double, and that's all that you're looking for. You just want it to be double. So because this number in the front cannot be removed, we have to use that technique that I showed you a while back. So one times nine, nine times one, and then three times three. And then for 16, you'd say 1 times 16, 16 times 1, 2 times 8, 8 times 2, and 4 times 4. Okay, so now remember, what we need to do is we need to choose a number over here and a number over here. So we're trying to get to negative 24. So you, you trust me, you'll get really good at this. Like, uh, there we go, I've already found it. Check here, 3 times 4, which is 12. And then, and then you obviously choose the opposite, so that's going to be 4 times 3, and that's also 12. So then 12 and 12, uh, well, if you want to make negative 24, you're just going to say minus 12, minus 12. So we're good. What we go do now is we go put our brackets, and we take the top numbers, and we put them in the first bracket, and then the bottom numbers can go in the second bracket. Then... 
if you multiply these two, you want to get 9, but you want to get x to the power of 4. So we'll put an x2 here and an x2 here. And so what happens now is, um, if you multiply these two, that would give you 12. But we would like it to be a negative 12, so I put a minus over there. And then if you had to multiply these two, you would also want that, well, it would give you 12, but you want that to be negative, so I put a negative over there as well. And so there's our final answer. Now, because these two are exactly the same, once again, your teacher might prefer you to write it as 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 2. Here's our last example. So what I like about this one is that um, you actually can take out a common factor. See, so um, a number that can go into all of those. I think it would be the number 2. So we'll take out a 2, and let's just see how that goes. So you'd be left with um, 9 over here, and 20, no, 30, Kevin, plus 25. Okay, so this is still a trinomial, because this is a x6, and this is a x3, so it's half, or double, whatever way you want to look at it. So as long as we have that, we're good. So um, you see this number in the front is not a 1, so we have to go use that technique that we use. So it would be 1 times 9, 9 times 1, and 3 times 3. And then for 25, it would be 1 times 25, 25 times 1, and then 5 times 5. And so now we just need to try and make the number negative 30. So we could make negative 30, let's see, let's see. Oh, here, 3 times 5, which is 15. And then this is 5 times 3, which is also 15. And then 15 and 15 would make negative 30. If you say negative 15, take away 15, that would give us negative 30. And so now we can go make our brackets. And this little 2 out here, you're not going to leave that. You're just going to, well, I mean, you're not going to ignore it. You're going to keep it there. Okay, some students, they just completely leave it out and then they get the, the answer wrong. So just leave it there. Then the two numbers at the top, they're going to go in the first bracket. And then the second number, these are going to go in the second bracket. And then when you multiply these two together, you're trying to make x to the power of 6. So that means x3 and x3. Now some of you are probably like, Kevin, doesn't that give you x9? But remember, when you multiply x3 and x3, you add the exponents. And so that becomes x6. Aha! And so... What we do now is if you had to multiply these two together, that would be 15x to the power of 3. But we want it to be a negative. So what we do is we put a negative over there. And then if you multiply these two together, that's going to give you 15 as well. But you want that to be a negative, so you put a little negative over there. And that is literally the answer. I don't know why all of these examples came out to be the same. It's like, it's quite interesting. Um, so... What your teacher might want you to do is just leave it like that, but some teachers are more than happy for you to just leave it like that. So just check what your teacher's happy with.